<clears throat> hey, welcome back, guys. Um, so it's been a while since the last video. Tonight we are talking about um, the first book in the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series, this, um, Guilty Pleasures. Uh, the book was written by Laurel K. Hamilton, and there are some 24 books in the series that all follow this title character who... Um, Anita Blake is this this um, necromancer who essentially resurrects the dead to um, allow families to kind of interact and get last minute messages across and things like that. Um, but this kind of leads her to getting involved with all kinds of crazy hijinks involving vampires and werewolves and uh, that kind of thing. So, um, the, I just want to go down through my notes real quick. Um, okay, I see the actual term here is, um, animator. Okay. So, th the story is kind of a unique blend of, um, Sherlock Holmes and Dracula, <laughs> as odd as that sounds. Anita Blake is, as I said, she's an, an animator. She kind of resurrects the the dead, and she's also a freelance vampire hunter. Um, she's actually a vampire executioner, um, and essentially what that means is, if a vampire has to be um, killed um, for legal reasons, uh, she is basically called in to to do the uh, the actual execution. Um, <laughs> it's set in this kind of this um, alternate reality uh, version of I think it's uh, yeah Saint Louis, uh, Louisiana, and um, Anita is essentially pulled into this murder mystery kind of thing. Um, a whole lot of vampires have been killed and he wants her to kind of find out why. Uh, the, the sort of the master vampire of the city basically says, well look, you know, we know this, this, this and this about you and he blackmails her into kind of working with them. Um, not a very original plot, I will admit. Um, I've read, I believe, the first four books in the series. I haven't gone much further than that. Um, from what I hear, the later books go more towards the sexual side of things. So, I don't quite know how this series is going to turn out, but, um, yeah. So, I liked, there are certain things that I like, certain things that I don't like. Um, um, I liked the um, the tone of the book. It is consistently dark, and you know there is humor here and there, but for the most part, it is a kind of dark, gritty, crime noir, supernatural kind of story. Which, at the time, I hadn't read anything like it, so it was kind of new to me. Um, it's not for everybody. You know, in spite of the interesting concept and um, everything else, it's certainly not a book that just anybody can read. Um, not really for the squeamish. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't, like, squirm very easily around books, but some of the stuff here actually, like, made me uh, a little bit uncomfortable. Um, the story is told from Anita's perspective, so it's much like Marked in that way. The difference here between Marked and this one, of course, is that Anita is, you know, a grown woman. She's not a teenager. And she's much more cynical. Um, or at least that's how it seems to me. She seems like a very cynical person. Um, <laughs> I will say I liked her um, little obsession with penguins. She's got like a stuffed 
I don't know if it's like, I can't remember, remember if it's like a collection of stuffed penguins or if she has like one specific penguin or something like that. I just thought that was funny. <laughs> you know, you've got this tough as nails vampire hunter who has a, <laughs> a collection of um, stuffed toys <laughs> that she uses as kind of a comfort thing. Um, the humor is very sharp. It's kind of, it's almost like blink and you'll miss it. Um, it's very well paced. Um, you know, it's a little bit slow at the beginning, but when it gets when it really gets going, then it just doesn't stop. So, um, yeah, all in all, it's a good book. Not really for everybody, um, and that's true of most books, I understand. But this one in particular is not really something I would just recommend to anyone. Or, or well, I would recommend it, but not. I wouldn't recommend it to just anybody. I'd kind of stick to the more hardcore crime noir horror fans or, or urban fantasy fans than just some, <laughs> you know, someone who's looking to just get into the genre. Um, I'd probably just give them something a little bit lighter to start with. Um, definitely not suitable for younger readers. It's a great book to read if you're into this kind of thing. Um, and while I w might not recommend it normally to someone who's just looking to get into the urban fantasy genre, I mean, if you want to check it out, then check it out by all means. It's certainly worth reading. Um, I certainly enjoyed it, and I mean, I've enjoyed all all the books that I've read so far, books one through four. I've enjoyed those so far, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious about the rest of the series, so I will be going forward and uh, pushing through and seeing how far I can get. So, you know what, I can't really say much more, um, so I'm going to sign off now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, you know, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. You know, tell me what you thought of the book. Have you read it? Have you not read it? Um, you can drop all that in the, in the uh, comments section. And uh, if you want to see more, you know what to do. You can hit the subscribe button. And, uh, yeah. I guess that's pretty much everything. So I will see you for the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.